hello and welcome back to natural skincare school youtube channel in this special video i'm going to show you how to dissolve salicylic acid and how to use it in your formulation salicylic acid is a white powder that you can use to make anti-acne skincare products and you can it's very good and a very uh, effective cosmetic active it belongs to bha uh, the group of beta hydroxyl acid that can be used as an exfoliant okay even though salicylic acid has larger molecules than uh, glycolic acid or or the aha group of um, hydroxyl acid um, this is also very effective especially when you're making uh, sensitive skin products akin um, prone skin skin product so now the first thing you have to know is that salicylic acid is not soluble in water you have to find a way to dissolve it now how do we dissolve in this video i'm going to show you different solvents you can use to dissolve salicylic acid and how to uh, how to use them so just bear with me here as i take different beakers I'm going to show you how to use castor oil to dissolve your salicylic acid, how to use uh, propanidiol 1,3 to dissolve uh, salicylic acid. Also, we're going to use glycerin okay, to dissolve salicylic acid. Finally, we're going to try sodium lactate to dissolve salicylic acid. So basically what you do is you, <coughs> first thing you do is just you weigh your salicylic acid. Basically, how do you use salicylic acid? You can use it from uh, one percent to two percent when you are making um, skincare product for stubborn acne you can use two percent but for moderate acne or you just want to use it to exfoliate your skin you can use it at one percent so take your salicylic acid okay into your beaker make sure you turn on your water bath or or hot water just uh, turn it on then we're going to start with propanidio. You just had a, a little bit of your solvent. Okay. So that's propanidio 1,3. You can try this uh, process, especially when you are making uh, toner, when you're making serum with salicylic acid. So I have my water bath here. Then you put it in a hot water and you mix it very well okay as you can see see hot water bath as you can see it will dissolve it very well what we want is uh, you want to let the make sure you put it in a hot uh, water bath or even a regular pot that you put on stove and you mix it very well okay so i'm going to zoom this in a little bit and you mix it very well <coughs> as you can see our salicylic acid is already dissolved so this is propanidial very good very good solvent so uh, for dissolving salicylic acid and just applying a little bit of it and you can see it's as clear as anything now you can add any other you know product you want to add to this basically salicylic acid is best used in the cool down phase of your formulation so keep that in mind going forward now let's go to the next survey so that's for propanidio we use propanidio 1,3 now let's try castor oil i'm going to take this away take a beaker put your salicylic acid into it a little bit that you want to use the percentage you want to use When you want to buy the best salicylic acid brand, make sure you go for the USP one. USP version is available at pureblendnatural.com at uh, the best price. We offer the, uh, the best price in Canada and the United States. So make sure you buy the USP version. So add your castor oil to salicylic acid. If you mix it by itself, it will not dissolve. So put it in hot water bath. So put it in hot water bath. I'm going to bring my hot water bath closer. And you continue mixing. Continue 
continue mixing that's this is castor oil okay castor oil is a very great uh, solvent for dissolving salicylic acid <coughs> so just mix and wait a little bit mix well at the end of this video we're going to compare all um, all the solvent and see if anyone is uh, lagging behind in the dissolution of uh, this special acid as you can see castor oil dissolved the salicylic acid well okay so that's for castor oil let's move on to the next solvent so that's castor oil we'll set that aside The next solvent we want to try, <coughs> excuse me, is glycerin. So take your salicylic acid as usual in the beaker. Take your salicylic acid in the big card and we're going to add glycerin to it. <coughs> so it's added to glycerin. We're going to mix that together. And we're going to put in hot water back. Then we continue mixing. Um, the glycerin one I've noticed that uh, is going to form like a paste okay even though it's going to dissolve the salicylic acid it may turn into a paste but don't worry about that this is what you can use um, especially when you're making lotion or you're making cream if you want to make lotion or cream with salicylic acid this is a good option okay so we'll mix Of all the four solvent is likely to be some glycerin is likely to be the one that's a bit the, the least favorite but I use this especially when making my lotion or body butter if I want to add a, if I want to add salicylic acid to my lotion or body butter so as you see I keep mixing it and this is where what we got right now okay so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set that aside so you we will review it afterwards. So that's glycerin. Okay. Now let's try the last solvent. My last solvent now is sodium lactate. So take your salicylic acid a little bit. Make sure you don't use too much, especially when you are practicing. Salicylic acid is expensive. Now you add your sodium lactate to it. This is our final solvent for dissolving salicylic acid. Sodium lactate. This is very useful when you're making cleansing products. <coughs> Body washes, uh, face wash. This is very good. So mix it well. Right, then we'll put it in a hot water bath. Put it in a hot water bath or 
or hot uh, pot with oil okay with water no sorry about that. <coughs> now you continue mixing and this is this is what sodium lactate gave us and that's it that's it so we're going to review all what i'm going to met a little bit i'm going to give uh, glycerin a little bit more time to develop it looks more like the glycerin needs more time okay so let's give the glycerin a bit more time to see And I think that's how much we can go. So we're going to keep it like that. Now let's review all our experiment. Okay, so I'll bring them closer so you see them. So we have a propanidio here. Now bring them all one by one outside so you see them. Now let's go with propanidio. Propanidio here is a, a good anti-microbial ingredient you can use for your formulation. I've already created a video about it on this channel. So uh, start the channel and that's it. This is how far um, our salicylic acid dissolves in propanidio very, very well. If you leave it uh, longer in the hot water, you're going to get a smoother smoother mixture and that's it well dissolved in it as you can see so you can use propanidial to dissolve your salicylic acid this is very useful when making either lotion toner anything you want to make it's very good this by the way so we set that aside so keep that in mind you're good to go with your proper needle. Now let's go for castor oil. Castor oil with salicylic acid, very good. As you can see, it's well dissolved, <coughs> right? You can see it's well dissolved. Now you can use this when making any product that calls for oil. Okay, for making any skincare product that has a water face, oil face, and uh, cool down phase so basically you just dissolve in your oil and you add it okay to the cool down phase do not add it to uh to the oil phase it's going to destroy the property of this precious precious ingredients okay so this is castor oil good very good also now let's go for glycerin glycerin did a bit of job um as you can see even though it dissolves it right it still left a little bit more tiny particles in it so i'm going to zoom the camera so you see it left a little bit of uh, tiny particles in it uh it's not something you have to worry about as you can see it's still okay in terms of dissolution it's not cloudy you can add this to your cream to your you know um to your lotion if you have if that's what you have at home i've used all this to make a lot of skincare product with salicylic acid so it's good to go now let's uh, let's check our final one the one that has the best consistency of all of them is sodium lactate as you can see this is very very clear very very clear sodium lactate is the best solvent okay for dissolving salicylic acid so keep that in mind when you're making product um, that calls for if you're making cleansing product use sodium lactate to dissolve your salicylic acid is the best solvent to dissolve salicylic acid yes then after that followed by followed by propanidio okay propanidio is also a good solvent to dissolve uh, salicylic acid well if you don't have any of those and you have castor oil at home good good to go as you can see it's also clear here yeah? um also very good if you don't mind a little bit of crystal here which it will it's, it's going to you know dissolve in the final it's, it's not going to show up in your final product you can also use glycerin so i will show them to you so this is glycerin you can buy <coughs> glycerin 
at pure blend natural at a very good price do not use regular glycerin make sure you use a usp version okay glycerin usp uh 99.7 percent castor oil also is also a very good one you can um that you can use to dissolve your sodium lactate two of these they are very affordable and they are easy to source okay you can buy them at pure blend natural look in the description box below for where to get them okay if you do not have propanidio or you cannot have sodium lactate no problem you can either use either of these two castor oil and glycerin this is a castor oil very good as you can see this is castor oil dissolution of salicylic acid and this is uh glycerin dissolution not bad also not cloudy not too stubborn good to go you can use them these two are available at pureblendnatural.com at a very good price uh, at pureblendnatural.com we have the best price in canada and the usa so go ahead and get them also if you want uh, don't use regular um glycerin make sure you use the usp version that's why i recommend pure blend natural to you also for salicylic acid do not use regular salicylic acid that you see uh you buy probably on some of them are on amazing they're just regular salicylic acid. they are of no use when you're making cosmetic products the best grade to buy is usp version which is uh, available at pure blend natural look in the description box below for a link to uh, get all the three solvents or the two solvents i mean the two that I actually recommend they are easy to source castor oil and uh, glycerin vegetable glycerin USP you can easily find them at pure blend natural and you can also find your salicylic acid the USP version at pureblendnatural.com so thank you so much everyone for watching if you have any question about dissolving salicylic acid or if you have any question about dissolving other actives uh, feel free to drop that question in the comment box below and I uh, will respond to you as soon as possible. If you want to learn more about making great and stable skincare corner, about using different, you know, solvents and even using different actives to boost the efficacy of your uh, cosmetic product, this is a channel for you. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. If you want to learn how to make your own skincare product, uh, naturalskincareschool.com is a place to go. So head over right now and join to be a part of the exciting project that we have going on. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I wish you the best in your formulation journey and happy formulated to everyone.